If you could walk on the water If you could hop scotch on the trees If you could fly the world in Hi there. I'm in Thika and I'm at Mary Hill and I came here because it is my job to come here in search of two amazing young ladies. They are globe, they are rise global winners and they told me I've got to call them winners, not champions, cohort of 2022. I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves and then tell you why they are truly the future of the globe and that's why they are rise global winners. So I will start with yourself. I mean you and I and our spectacles. Let's go. Um, hi. My name is Natasha Njokindai. I am a student at the Mary Hill Girls High School. Um, I am Edith Chamutai Talam, and I am a student at the Mary Hill Girls High School. And I am a Rise Global Leader, the future of this world. Wait for me and see. Okay, you know, for about two weeks now, I've been saying the same thing over and over again that the job of Rise is to find brilliant young people between the age of 15 and 17 and to support them for life as they do their part to make a difference in the world. So I want to start with you. Why are you a winner? You know, there's somebody staring at the screen right now thinking, why her? What did she submit? What is your purpose? I guess that's what I want to know. Um, I think the main reason why I was chosen as a winner is because I have a calling to serving others and I intend to use all the resources at my disposal to make sure that I do that. Yeah, because for, for me to exist is my purpose is to serve humanity. Okay, that's bold. Edith, tell me. If I was to say the reason why I think I was able to become a Rise Global winner, um, it would be the fact that I was willing to actually step up and address and work towards solving a major issue in today's world and to put my time and effort and in a brilliant way showcase um, a common but expressed in a different way solution to a problem to a problem and you're going to tell me what that problem is but i want to come back to you incidentally i love the way you speak the two of you i mean i thought i was coming to meet first and foremost i thought you were in form three you've just told me both of you are in your final year so both of you are leaving here on the 23rd of december I, can i say good luck now all yeah. the very best all the very best thank you what i want to know is first and foremost how did you find out about rise because I know I didn't talk about it. And right now, because I'm talking about it on my digital platform, it's probably one of the most important things I'm saying. And you should see all my posts. I know you're in school right now, you're not seeing anything on social media. I'm like parents, teachers, mentors. If you know any amazing 15 to 17 year olds, I need you to get them to apply for RISE. So how did you two find out about RISE? I'll start with you. I love studying so much and I love, I love big libraries. So I was searching online and I'm searching for libraries and um, in my Instagram account, I was following a post based on the academics. Yeah, especially philosophy because I'm really interested in philosophy. Then as I was scrolling through the stories, I saw a post about RISE. Yeah, and it was just there and it was giving information about RISE. So at first I ignored it. All right. Yeah, I ignored it and I, then I came back later and I'm like, maybe this could help me study abroad. I love that, that you found your trigger in what you were desiring. I've always said, what you seek is seeking you. <laughs> what you seek is seeking you. So you said, okay, since it will be a path to where I want to go, let me apply for RISE. Oh, Edith? Um, for me, it's kind of a similar story. I had been searching for a method to get a scholarship to study abroad because uh -huh. I was aware that I wouldn't uh, be able to fund myself to uh -huh. go and study abroad. Um, so I had tried looking for opportunities online and I had even seen there was a Yale African Scholars uh, Opportunity. Yes. But unfortunately, I missed the deadline. Yes but on also on instagram mm -hmm. and also on google mm -hmm. um because uh when you search something so much the, yeah, the algorithm can, the yeah, algorithm follows you follows yes. you so um i saw an opportunity for tech girls and rise global winners and you chose and i chose both uh-huh i chose both i applied to the tech girls and the rise global winners but i was 
was able to complete the rise one but i was only able to um download the app the hello world app which is the app they use for the application yes then i came back to school and i was like oh my god i've missed uh such an open but, window yes but um by god's grace um our teacher mr mwangi ji mm -hmm. who was in charge of uh, tech girls and rise uh -huh. um came and uh he and also miss moridi uh he told us that um there is still a uh, chance, chance to apply mm -hmm. for rise and i was like i'm not so that is the one again i totally hear you and i just went and we restarted the entire we started all over again and we finished the application how long is this process because i hear there's your submissions which is what i'm trying to get everybody to do to register and then i hear you actually have an interview process and this is where you show in 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 front of others what it is you're doing and then uh, out of that so out of the submissions 500 are picked out of the 500 100 are winners globally and you are part of that 100 which by the way is huge do you know how big that is yeah. are your parents like complete like watch up yeah. yeah really yeah. oh yeah. good 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 they should be like that so tell me when you finally finish what, what is the application process like because i know it takes a year so there's the application then there's the interview which is what i guess is submissions and then of course now there's the cohort where you will meet the other 98 because there's a hundred of you globally you're what you you are two of a hundred globally is it huge has it <laughs> has it entered do you get it? Yeah. You do. Fantastic. So tell me, you, you're lazy, you do not like paperwork, uh -huh. Yeah, so um, applying for RISE really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Great. Yeah, and it's something that has changed me completely because these days I see an application and I don't even want to sleep. Like, it has to be filled in and submitted. Yeah, so we started with that. The, we, there was a lot of paperwork. We were given these scripts and we had three phases. There was there focus and research, then the design and plan, and then now they act and reflect. Wow. So we had to focus first, you decide what is it that you really want to defend and you really want to fight for. Yes. Then when you identify it, you research on it. And after researching on it, now you have to design all your projects. Yes. You plan and you actually, now the last phase was to act and reflect. Mm -hmm. You act on it, you implement your plan, mm -hmm. and then you reflect upon it. Upon what it. do you learn from what you have done? Do you think it's something that can help others? So you, you had talked about two teachers here who are helping, but that sounds like such, a, it's, it's work. Yeah. It's a lot, especially the research part. So how do you do this? You still have schoolwork, you still have, you still, so how do you do this? you had to sacrifice and you had to be wise you have to be wise with the sacrifices you're making because yeah. there's no way i'll be out of class during prep and still come back to math lesson yes. and i've not written uh, uh this assignment mm -hmm. so uh the good thing was that uh, the projects that we did was uh, during the weekend we oh. did ours during the weekend but the research part um i had to go to classes mostly there for one and from two classes mm -hmm. and uh, ask them to come ask for interviews mm -hmm. yes. and for them to fill in questionnaires mm -hmm. for me i had to come and like tell the teacher for computer to give me uh the to open the computer lab for me to so open wi-fi for research, research and you go on to google mm -hmm. and you look for things yes wow. yeah so you had to do all that and after that you have finally done your uh, research and uh, you've uh, you've gotten the data and mm -hmm. you know your project that you want to do yes the plan part uh, that is not like the difficult part really yeah because you know what you want to do but now it's when do? you lay it out yeah now that's where you lay it out so when i finally came up with uh the project that mm -hmm. i wanted to do and i was presenting it to my class and most people were like mm, this project of yours doesn't look uh, possible <laughs> did you also get the same yeah it's like and really edit in this school with these resources you want to do that whoa and i'm there in the front of the class trying to get them to support me because obviously we can't do this on our on my own no. i can't stand and start building my system on, on all on my own so after a lot of convincing a lot of tears shed in the dark <laughs> we finally I, I finally got uh, the sum of my 
good friends to get on with me mm -hmm. and did the project. And over time, mm -hmm. more students joined in. Joined in. Yeah. But you are, the two of you are RISE pioneers. In this Mary Hill yeah. has not done this before. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then you, what do they think of your project? For me, it was the teachers and you're wasting time and yeah because we, okay for research i was always out during preps because you had to come to the computer lab research right you had to fill in and then um because at that time we were a whole team of people who are joining rise so i had to i was the one who was in charge so i had to know who is coming who is not coming who is planning like that because we were so many mm -hmm. at that time so I had this whole, like, I'm taking charge, and but I also had to take care of my project. Oh, yes, of course. And then um, I needed to, for my project, I wanted to incorporate my classmates, and it was very difficult yeah. to convince them. Because at that time, RISE was not something was that not was... Was not known. Yeah, and, exactly. And actually, now I understand, because if, if, like I said, if you look at my social media posts, I, I believe in RISE, and I barely, you know... You should see me. I'm on the site. I'm like, I get this. I get this. And I don't know why I get it, but I get it. But I mean, I'm always like parents, teachers, mentors, because I know if they get behind a 15 year old, a 16 year old, 17 year old, the application process, the planning, the research, because what we bring to you is knowledge. So my big belief is the millennials of this generation are very good at advocacy. They will make the noise that needs to be made. The people who will actually bring about the change we want is you. I don't know how to tell the millennials they'll never change anything. They'll probably hate me and still fine. Yeah. So um, I I want to know <clears throat> because <clears throat> this is important. Unaribu time. When are you going to prep? Do you know you have form four next year? The, those things probably came out. So finally, you submit, and then Nikungoja Sasa to know whether you have. You are a winner because that was the mission. You're looking for university abroad. You're looking for university opportunity abroad. I am. Finally, email comes. Where were you? Oh, for, oh the, you know, the first email that comes uh -huh. is the finalist email. So you, out of 80,000 globally? Yeah, you come back. You're told 500. you're 500. Yeah. yeah. So you were like, ah, I'm in. I'm in the semi-finals. <laughs> the semi-finals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not yet. Not, Not yet, 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 but almost there. So how does that one feel? when you get that email? In fact, the finalist email was more exciting for in my part mm -hmm. than the, <laughs> the winner email. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Well, wait a minute. Really? Yeah. yeah. When you were told you are one of 500? Yeah. That out was, of 80,000. OK, that's huge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's huge. And this is globally. Yeah. And mind you, uh -huh. at that time, uh, we hadn't actually gotten a feel of rise. You don't totally know what you've done. You just know you've applied to something. You've worked for something. Yes. You don't have a feel of what you, you have actually done. You were going with your gut done. and you're like, yeah. Nafanyaka something. Yeah. So like that final, the, you becoming a finalist uh -huh. is like uh, an assurance. Oh, that, that, that you uh, did the right that thing. That you did the right thing and that you're actually getting somewhere. Uh, how did you feel? The uh, okay, being among the 500 was really that one very exciting mm -hmm. because I felt like Kai mm Nikondani, -hmm. as in I'm almost there, I'm so close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all I, all I needed was to have faith uh -huh. that if I could get this far, like I'm not going to stop here, I'm going to go further. Okay, so now you are in the semi finals, now you got to play. You're playing for now just a hundred positions. There's 500 of you, four will drop out. What is this, this part? What are you doing now to become one of the a hundred? A hundred. Mm. Um, after you become the finalist, uh, there is a finalist day. And there were three of them on the 4th and on the 23rd. No, the 4th, 21st, yes, the 4th and the 21st and the 11th, although on Saturdays. Um, so uh, during the finalist day, um, you are to partake in, a, you are to do a presentation yes. of your project. Mm -hmm. um, you're also supposed to uh, participate in two group activities. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you're supposed to do an interview uh, with yes. one of the RISE team members. Wow. Yeah, and it's all on Zoom. So, uh, during the finalist day, you meet other finalists, you see their project. And that process, what was that like? Was the school finally saying, I mean, are guys kind of warming up, sort of? 
still I mean, your classmates, uh-huh. just the classmates who knew what you did, mm-hmm. but the school will just support you to get there. Like they'll mm-hmm. just provide you, obviously, the Wi Fi that you were yes, using. Yes, you need the Wi Fi to do the Zoom call. And the laptops were from the teachers. Yes. What? Not even the laptop, the laptop one was from, Mur- was from our teacher, Ms. Murethi. Uh-huh. The other laptop was from people of Akilitada who came to help us. And they even came out with their own router for us to use. The school, hey, at least we, they did a lot. I'm going to find them, don't worry. So, um, for you, what was your interview process like? I mean, she, I'm sure she's like, Aiyya, Adi, Kinanani. Okay, before we got to the interview, uh-huh. As among the 500, we also got benefits, like the benefit scheme that Ali. Allah? Yeah. What did you get? Um, there was this course from the University of Chicago, uh-huh. which was being offered by Professor Ginzel. Yeah, she's a professor in business management. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was being offered to teachers about leadership. And it was for most of the, like, for those who could attend among the 500. So when we attended that one, I saw, like, I saw some of the rise winners. Oh. Yeah, we started now there. Okay. Then now we got to the interview part. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, you look familiar. And then the oh, rest. Great. Okay. All right. So th- those, so you told me you present. So the interview is the last part. Yeah. And then when that is over. Uh-huh. After that, you leave and wait for the results. And wait for the results. And you and hope that you, what you, you, what you submitted, you what, what you, you presented, you how you defended your project, you hope that you gave it your best. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So between that and getting the email, how long was that? Two months. Two months. Whoa. <laughs> Siuna Sahau. Yeah, like I totally forgot. Like it was just like, ah, I had applied for RISE and... Yeah, she used to remind me constantly. I never forgot. It was ever on my (laughs) notebook. (laughs) This is where usually on on digital platforms we say two months later. So when you come back, we'll do two months later. I cannot say this enough. If you're a parent, a teacher, a mentor, and there's a brilliant young person in your life who you know is committed to making a change in the world, please get them to register for RISE for the RISE Global Challenge 2023 because, and they will tell you this, RISE will be with you for life, for life. So that they can continue doing their work and they'll tell you about their work. If I don't give you a cliffhanger, what's the point, okay? So two months later, I'll be back. Cause you're super